What's going on everyone? It's Alex here from Alex Physio. Today I'm going to be going over five of the top exercises that you can do for your gluteus maximus muscle. Welcome. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Alexander Kravich. I'm a physiotherapist in Vancouver, British Columbia. And today I'm going to be going over five top exercises that you can do for your gluteus maximus muscle based on EMG studies. The gluteus maximus muscle is our primary hip extensor. It plays a significant role when we're, when we're running, sprinting, jumping, walking. We need muscle activation of the gluteus maximus muscle and building up strength in that will lead to a transfer in performance with sport, but also with day-to-day -day activities. When you go up and down stairs, when you're walking, running, uh, lifting, all these movements require hip extension. So this is one of the reasons why it's important to look at what the research says with regards to muscle activation to see which exercise can give you the most bang for your buck. Knowing that EMG again only plays one role in the overall determination of which exercises to perform and also being mindful of the fact that this study didn't look at every single gluteus maximus muscle exercise that can be performed. It didn't look at exercises such as hip thrusts or front squats or back squats. It was just um, it, it was just limited in terms of the exercises that they looked at. And I'll link below for the full article details, but it's just important to be mindful of that. So take this study results with a grain of salt and looking at the broader context of things. In this case, we're gonna use the EMG results from a study done by Riemann et al. in 2012 that looked at surface EMG for various gluteus maximus exercises and what the results show for the top five. I'm going to start from five, so from the least of the, of the five, and then go down in, in descending order. And number one is going to be obviously the one that has the highest level of muscle activity. Generally, with strength gains, we're looking at any number greater than 40% of MVIC, which is maximal voluntary isometric contraction. So we're going to be using this percentage number relative to that 40%. It has to be 40% and above to classify as a strength exercise. Number five in our list is the retro step up calculated at 57% of MVIC. So the setup for this is if we're working on our left leg in this case, we're going to start with our right leg on the ground. You're going to lean your trunk forward and you're going to try to push off that left leg and then stand up nice and tall. So again, you're going to lean forward, stay on your heels on the left leg and you're pushing from that left leg nice and tall. Obviously, we're getting a little bit of knee extension as well. We're working some quads, but the more you lean forward, that's going to bias a little bit more of your gluteus maximus muscle and up tall. Okay, that's exercise one, the retro or reverse step up. Number four in our top five is the wall squat calculated at 58% MVIC. So the setup for this is feet are going to be about hip width apart. Heels are going to be about a foot off the wall, and we're just trying to descend down into the squat to about 90 or a bit past 90 degrees, and then up tall. Again, obviously this is working on our quadricep muscles as well, but we're also getting some glute activation, primarily our glute max. Okay, you can use the wall for a little bit of support, and we're going to come back up. Feet closer is more quadriceps, feet further is a little bit more glute max. Okay, that's exercise four, the wall squat. Number three is going to be our single leg squat. So single leg squat can be done in numerous different ways. Uh, we're going to just show this as a free single leg squat without any support, but obviously if there are increase in balance demands, then you can hold on to something for a little bit of stability. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands on my hips. I'm going to have my leg back behind me and I'm just trying to descend down into the squat and come back up. And again, alternatively, as a counterbalance, you can have your hands out in front of you. You're going to try to come down as far as you feel comfortable and then come back up again. We're getting some quadricep muscle as well activation, but this was number three at 59% MVIC, the single leg squat. Number two, so the exercise that has the second highest EMG activity in our glute maximus muscle is our single leg deadlift. So what this is going to look like is we're going to stand on our left leg, hands on our hips. You're trying to bring your right leg back, lean your torso forward, 
and then stand up nice and tall. So here we get, a, in this one we're focusing on our left, but we're also getting some right glute max muscle activation as you're bringing that right leg back because you're bringing that hip in hip extension on the right side and then hip extension on the left to come back to the start. And again, if balance is a bit of a concern, have your hand on the wall for a bit of support. But if you can do it without, trying to see if you can lift your heel towards the ceiling on the right side, keep your balance, and then drive straight through. Obviously, with having a weight or going slower will increase the time under tension, increase the load, but we're just doing all these exercises body weight. And the number one exercise that, based on this study, had the highest level of EMG activity for the gluteus maximus muscle is our forward step up. So the way this is going to look like is you're going to put one foot on the step, you're going to lean your torso forward. The weight is primarily on this leg. You're not trying to, you're trying to minimize how much you're pushing off of the bottom foot. And ideally, even if you can have your toes up towards the ceiling, then you're going to minimize the likelihood that you're using that bottom leg for assistance. You're going to lean forward, push off that front leg, and nice and tall, and then control the descent coming back down, okay? So lean forward, push off that front leg, drive your hips straight up tall, squeeze, and slowly come back down to the start. And again, weight will obviously make it more challenging as well as going up slower and down slower. For the purposes of this, this demonstration, we'll just do all these body weight. So again, leaning forward will bias a little bit more the glute max because you're putting it on more tension. Lean forward and up tall. The forward step up was rated at 74% MVIC, so 15% higher than the second highest at 59% for the single leg deadlift. So there you have it. We went over the top five exercises for gluteus maximus EMG muscle activation based on a study by Riemann et al. in 2012. The number one was forward step ups, then we had the single leg deadlifts, then we had the single leg squats, the wall squats, and the reverse or retro step up. Hopefully you found some value in this video. Which exercises are your go-tos when you're trying to work on building up the strength of your glute max or your main glute muscle? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, please consider checking out some of my other videos. I have over 450 videos on various physio, exercise, and medical related topics. And if you still find value, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really allows my channel to grow and allows me to reach a wider audience. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.